not many people know what happens to the soul after death. They do know that, of course, it leaves the body. As long as the body is not in the ground, that soul has to floats around the body and hangs around the body. It sees what's happening to its, you know, to its body. It's a painful thing. A casket that's considered Jewish or traditional according to halacha, which is Jewish law, is a casket that's made of wood completely free of metal. And the reasons for that has to do with the belief in the Jewish tradition that the casket, upon going into the grave, it should actually go back to the earth as quickly as possible. And ashes to ashes and dust to dust. There's no metal screws, there's no metal staples. Everything is manufactured with wooden dowels, glue. Every part of a wood casket will decompose. It will deteriorate almost at the same rate as the body will decompose. There are holes drilled in the bottom. Those holes allow for the earth to come through the bottom so the body is actually touching the earth. In order to make a side of a casket, we will use screws to hold moldings to the sides. We'll put glue and use the screws, and then after those parts are cured, we then back the screws out. The metal detectors ensure that we don't leave any metal behind. Typically, a casket for a Jewish service is seen rather briefly, if at all. A Jewish casket is not designed for a wake purpose. Because we don't have the ability to use metal hinges, we'll use wooden dowels that are pierced through the side of the casket, and it allows us to open just the top half of the casket. The plain pine box is basically a box. Pine is just, uh, traditionally, it was the cheapest wood that you could get. It signifies that all people are equal. When a person passes away, they return to the ground in the simplest form as possible. One of the traditions is that everyone's equal in death. So you would think that all Jewish people would go in a pine box. However, we make a lot of very nice high-end Jewish caskets. You will see on Jewish caskets to have less ornate moldings but they will have nice finishes and nice interiors. If you're talking to someone who's extremely observant, they would only be interested in a simple pine box. If you ask someone of the Jewish faith who's conservative or reform, depending upon their bent, uh, they'll decide that as long as the casket conforms to tradition being made of all wood with no metal, any casket will suffice. Things changed over time. In the 1960s, uh, if a funeral was planned, it was a pine box because that's all that was available. As Jewish funeral homes would look at Christian funeral homes and realize how much money Christian funeral homes were making on caskets, there was someone named Harold Stauffer who came up with the concept of high-frequency gluing. And what he was able to accomplish was figure out a way to make a rounded top without using nails or screws or metal to make more elaborate caskets for Jewish funeral homes to sell. Manufacturers became more bold. It started with simple wood species like pine and poplar and then evolved into other wood species like oak and uh, maple and cherry and mahogany and walnut. A, a typical poplar casket, that would be like buying a nice Chevy. A mahogany might be going out and buying a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. And if you're a connoisseur of woods, you can really appreciate the beauty of the grain on top of the fact that the finish is flawless, which creates an incongruity that, as beautiful as it is, it's going to be buried, never to be seen again. 
My personal feeling is that it's a waste of money to spend uh, thousands of dollars on a casket. But uh, I respect someone who's not as orthodox as I am, that wants something nicer. I think the funeral industry is driven by the consumer. There are a lot of people that still want a high-end casket. Any manufacturer is going to make what his client wants, but his client is the funeral home. It's not the consumer. A casket isn't for the deceased. Um, a lot of people will tell me, just put me in a pine box, I'm happy with that. It's really for the family members. They can appreciate a good, high-quality casket, knowing their loved ones in that. Many is the time we're sitting with the family, not encouraging them to choose a pine box, but explaining to them the reason why it's perfectly appropriate. And nonetheless, they'll choose something more elaborate. It could be guilt. It could be judgment, believing that if there's a simple pine box in the front of the chapel, others will judge them as cheap. America is very death-denying. They don't want to think about going into a deep hole and being buried and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, American Jews, you know, they have those that are not Orthodox have moved further and further away from reality, so to speak and they're going off to material, the material world. So, you know, of course they, they're scared of death because if they don't believe in the world to come and everything is in this world, then when you die, that is it. What else is there? <laughs>